Hello, everyone. My name is Carla Sanchez. Welcome back. This is our second episode of It's Your Turn Time, Contractor Spotlight Edition. And today's special guest is Kevin Luna, an owner operator in the ports of LA and Long Beach. Kevin, thank you for joining us. How are you this evening? I'm pretty good. Uh, how are you doing? Doing well, too. Um, let's get started with our pregate questions. Oh, go ahead. All right. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, well, I'm, it feels like a job interview. <laughs> I'm 27, 27 years old. Uh, I'm a truck driver, owner operator. Uh, my wife is also an owner operator. She drives during the day, I drive during night. And oh, wow. uh, so we we currently the owners of Luna and Sons Trucking. Nice. And, uh, Did you always want to be a truck driver? Well, not always. Since I was um, 11 years old, uh, Actually, um, I still a boxer, sort of say. Um, I was in the national team of Guatemala for boxing. I went to the Pan American Games. I won a bronze medal. I went to Olympic qualifiers. Uh, I become I became a professional boxer. Had a family, so also had to maintain the living and and stuff. So I I was look for better job opportunities, and trucking looked like the best thing since I I didn't wanted to go back to school and and i mean although going back to school was the best option but uh i didn't want to sacrifice my family put them into all the time in order to achieve the a diploma or degree so i seen as uh, trucking as the 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 best the best option gotcha. and also co coming from a family just you know trucking from truck industries and all my uncles some some made it some not made didn't made it so also my uncles they used to take me to the ports of, of la and lb i was back in the days they used to take me back of the of the cab perhaps i shouldn't be saying this but i used to go inside the, the ports so i i became a little familiar with that they used to take me long routes to keep them awake when i was the first one to fall asleep but uh yeah that's how how, how i got into trucking interesting that's awesome that i didn't know you were a boxer that's Awesome. Do you do, do you still box in your free time? Yes. Uh, like right now, like I said, we're boxing and everything. Then coronavirus came. My, I normally take my kids to to the gym since my wife works in the day, and uh, I would take my kids to the gym. But then all this virus came, and then we're just right now we're stepping a little a little back because of all precautions, precaution, you know. But uh, once everything's all over with, we'll we'll give another shot. And how long have you and your wife been in this business together? Well, I I always take the first step, try to test the water, see if if it's stable. Then I have my wife uh, follow follow the lead. Uh, my wife has uh, three years with her license, and I'm going to four years. And yeah, so we every time you know I work in one company, then I pull her to that one company. That way, when we're company drivers, um, that way I will drive the, that that truck, and then she'll she'll drive it. Also, so we we'll do tag team. So normally we don't meet up at the, at the at the yard, we always meet at some point close to her house, and we just make a switch within 10, 15 seconds. She jumps off, I jump on. She already has my she already, I actually put a, a video of that on Instagram, and she already has my my paperwork or everything ready, and I just jump on. It becomes timely. The time is a little more efficient like that. I can imagine. And what do you enjoy the most most of being an owner operator? Uh, I enjoy the flexibility of time because of my kids. Uh, it's a school calls. I mean, I could, I mean, of course, except one, one is working, the other one is off. But whenever I need some time, I could just, you know, call the day off. And then once you, when you're a company driver, you always have to either, I mean, lose a day or, of course, right? Or, or try to see if you have enough hours or ask for permission. Because if you miss too many times, then you get fired and you have to go through the process again of, you know, hiring and you know. great well moving on to our in gate questions um what are some of the challenges you face in your everyday job uh well especially for me it's patience uh it's it was being really hard for me to have patience the long lines uh i wouldn't want to say this but sort of say the mistreatment uh from workplace you know, people that you meet in the workplace. Um, yes, long lines. Uh, that's the reason why I work nights. Nights, normally I don't have no traffic, nothing, but 
I at the terminals I encountered a lot of a lot of those issues. So you had to gotta have a lot of a lot of patience. And then that's something that I learned through since I started. You know, it took a little time, but I learned it. And um, what have you learned about the trucking industry that has impacted you the most? Well, in the trucking industry, I mean, I've learned a lot. Um, I you never stop learning from this industry. Uh, that's the reason why you see people, you know, build companies from scratch to high high up. You know, uh, like for example, Knight, uh, CRST, those companies. Perhaps they started with the vision, and then now they they've they've accomplished a lot. Um, there's a lot of truckers that. Perhaps they they were owner operators and they went back to being regular drivers, and then there's some that were owner operators and ended up having four, six, seven trucks and they keep on building. I don't know, especially somebody that has uh, 30 trucks. I know somebody has eight trucks. I don't know people that went back to be, be becoming uh, drivers again. So um, that's something I learned. You know, there's there's no there's always room to to grow, to grow and to learn. Of course. And let's uh, go to our outgate questions. Um, what advice would you give a person who is planning to become an owner operator today? Uh, well, the, for the, the, the advice they gave me was to have some cash on hand. Don't, I mean, it's, it's not impossible, but some people just jump on with, with no money. And, but you always had to have some, save some money for, for expenses. And like I said, rule of thumb, they say to start off with $10,000. That way you have enough for your down payment. You have enough for your first two to three weeks that you know it takes for them to pay you the time because it takes some time for your permits and and other other permits to arrive. So have some money and on what's called on on the on savings in order to to face those those challenges that come those the obstacles. But then after you pass those things, you know you, you should be you not know, ready to go. Of course, there's some times that it's gonna be down. Just, just I was persist. I was keep on going. This I was gonna be a better days. So, like I said, it's like a roller coaster. It has good days and bad days. So just don't give up and just keep the same vision. All right. And before we go, any shout outs you want to give out to any of your fellow truckers? Of course. Uh, first of all, my wife since she's a trucker. I have my sister as a trucker too, Leslie Luna. My wife Diana Luna. I have uh, also my uncle, Giovanni. We, I'm trying to build a small fleet, you know? Um, also, as a matter of fact, I'm taking my mom today to the port. Also, she's watching this, is uh, Arelis Munoz. Uh, shout out to her for our next, next trucker. Also, uh, to Contenero Society, to HTA, of course, thanks for having me here. And to all the truckers from LA and LB, port drivers, you know, uh, I wanna send a shout out and then just keep on trucking. Awesome. Well, thank you for taking the time to be with us today and for being our second special guest. Um, I also want to take a, thank everyone who is watching us and thank you for joining us today. Um, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on all our social media channels. Until next time, keep on trucking. Right. <laughs> thank you.